welcome back to another video. I'm a little bit sick today, if you couldn't tell. We're gonna be exploiting my bad immune system for content today. Let's 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 remix a cough. Let's do it. Sounds fun. <coughs> on this first cough is actually kind of crazy though <coughs> okay um let's actually just pull up portal because i just got this plugin and it's really dope like i've wanted it since i started making music but like i just never really had the disposable income i still don't i just you know <laughs> Okay, that's that's too cool. I have to use that. That's sick. No pun intended. Actually, you know what? Pun intended. Deal with it. Also, while I'm just scrolling through presets here, uh, I do want to mention, like, I am very sorry for not making videos. I've been working a lot on, like, just actual music and stuff. I've uh, been doing a lot of experimenting with lots of stuff. Uh, started making like hyper pop and drum and bass and all that kind of stuff. So um, expect some cool music at least somewhat soon. I have one single that I'm currently sending out to labels right now. So that should be pretty cool. But um, I'm planning on focusing a little bit more on YouTube at least. So yeah. <coughs> Am I the only one that finds this just hilarious for some reason? It reminds me of that one, like, scream sound effect. Okay, um, I don't even know what I want to make today. Alright, drum and bass. Alright, let's get rid of the portal on insert one, and let's just OTT it. Sounds pretty cool. Let's distort it a little bit. Alright, let's kind of do the same thing to this one. Uh, just kind of beef it up a little bit. What if we did, like, a little bit of this? Just took one and repeated it, maybe? Okay, I don't know how we're gonna turn this into a song, but we're gonna try. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this sound. Maybe that could be cool. Kind of like a stuttery sound. Yeah, this one. Maybe let's do a little bit of uh, pitch automation on this one. Okay, I feel like there's potential here at least. Right, let's find a bass. Sure, D is fine. Maybe let's cut out this last part and have like a reverb swell. And then we'll take out the sub of this one as well. OTT it to heck and back. Let's make this one choppy as well. OTT it again. The goofiest drum and bass song I've ever made in my life. We're gonna work with it though. Uh, let's get a sub. Should we go for like the sustained sub or should we make the sub choppy as well? I 
guess let's just try both. I think the choppy version is fine. Okay, we need something to put on this first hit. I think I made this like brass kind of sound when I was working on another drum and bass song. Yeah, this one. Just beef it up a little bit. I think we could probably fit like a small cough uh, right here before this kick. That second cough kind of comes in clutch right there. And you already know the drill, OTT and distortion. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite things, at least in my music these days, is to put like a noise hit like this, like with the side chain on it and just have it on the first hit. It just adds a little bit of oomph when like the first hit of the drop comes in. I think I was inspired to start doing that by like, I think it was Kirby. I saw like a tutorial he did where he did this and I'm like, that's pretty cool. So I started doing it. I don't know why I'm at elaborating on this. I think this bass could use a few more layers or at least one. That is pretty good. Maybe OTT that one more time. Needs to be crunchy, you know? Okay, that's super sick. I just looked up sick in the sample search area. I have these like sick donks. I don't know when I got these, but I have them. I guess we could throw one of these in there. something say something